Hi friends, welcome to Mizora, your one-stop solution where you can understand all the problem-solving methodologies. And this is our Six Sigma Yellow Belt series. Uh, this is just a teaser for the case study. So if you have been following the videos of the Yellow Belt certification, you would have gone through uh, the sessions till now. So we started with Six Sigma Foundation and Principles, then Lean Foundation and Principles, Six Sigma Roles, Responsibilities, Team Basics, Quality Tools and Six Sigma Matrix. Uh, now if I summarize all these sessions, you would have gone through briefly this. right? In the first session we learned about the purpose of Six Sigma which is defects, variations, what is DMAC, uh, from where Six Sigma came and where do organization use Six Sigma. Then Lean Foundation and Principle where we learned the Lean tools. I briefed you about the Lean tools and then Six Sigma roles and responsibilities. Uh, we moved on from there to the quality tools uh, which is Pareto charts, cause and effect diagram, flow charts, run charts, all these tools we learned right? and then into the Six Sigma matrix which is DPU, DPMO, Roll Throughput Yield and Cycle Time COPQ, Cost of Poor Quality. Uh, now since I do all the sessions online, you would have seen my last video. Uh, questions uh, being asked by the participants, it's okay, all these tools are okay, good to know, but what after that? How do I use it in practical real life, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm working on a case study which involves all these tools and uh, how, how someone can use this tool as an integrated manner, not even at standalone. You still can use all this as standalone, but how do I use it in a project mode or a uh, integrated manner? Now within that, since we have not gone into the DMAC approach at all, so I'll restrict this. Uh, 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 use of these tools only. I am not going beyond this tool for the simplicity of your understanding. Once I prepare the case study, I will prepare the uh, video on that. That uh, should be a, uh, uh, at least one hour, one, one and a half hours video only to brief you end to end uh, with the starting how, how can someone work, how can someone collect data, how do all this run charts, this uh, uh, analysis means how do I use scatter diagram in all those areas, right? How do I use DPMO, DPM, uh, DPU, DPMO, all these matrices, right? So just to give you a context, uh, the case study would be about uh, in a boardroom discussion where problems are presented to the operation manager and the functional head of a company, uh, which deals with the end-to-end -end logistics support for large projects. Uh, and all this uh, happened during a board uh, review meeting, right? You would have gone through monthly review meetings or some uh, some sort of frequency uh, meetings you would have. The process owner would now have to solve these problems in a very short time given to them, right? And uh, they, they would use almost all the tools I mentioned earlier to all of you to reach to the solution. And now you have to... Just wait till uh, till the time I complete the video and upload it and till the time I would request you to go through all those videos again so that your fundamentals are clear. At least you know what do I mean by DPU, what do I mean by a scatter uh, a diagram, right? So though I will brief again all those things but if you don't know that what is this fundamental tools also you can google just find it out more ways to uh, uh, understand the same tool. then. Once I come up with a small case study, you will be able to relate it to a practical environment and uh, obviously you can share your feedback uh, 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 on that, what, what is your expectation, how you want something else to be in case study, by the time I prepare it, maybe I can include that also, right. So that's it, that's it guys, thanks, thanks a lot and uh, uh, let's meet again in the next video, thank you.